When Mrs. Darling discovers that Wendy and the boys have returned from Neverland, we are presented with a sight that is one of joy for the Darlings, but sadness for Peter Pan. George, George, she cried when she could speak, and Mr. Darling woke to share her bliss, and Nana came rushing in. There could not have been a lovelier sight, but there was none to see it, except a strange boy who was staring in at the window. He had ecstasies innumerable that other children can never know, but he was looking through the window at the one joy from which he must be forever barred. What is this one joy? Well, it's the family. Mother, father and children all gathered together in their home. And the mother figure is at the heart of family. When the children go to Neverland, it is Wendy who takes on the role of mother for all the boys. As such, she becomes the organising principle of their everyday lives. She cooks, sews and tells them when to go to bed. That Wendy symbolises the associated concept of home is made clear when the lost boys physically build a house around her to help her recover from the arrow wound inflicted by Tinkerbell. Just as importantly, for her brothers, she becomes the repository of memory. When she realises they are beginning to forget home, she sets them an examination paper with questions such as what was the colour of mother's eyes, which was the taller, father or mother, and so on. Wendy retains her link with home since she is confident that her parents will keep the window open for her and the boys. It is important for them to remember real home, for Neverland of course is not real, because it entails understanding the need to grow up. And growing up entails taking responsibility for one's actions, which Peter Pan resolutely refuses to do. He has virtually no memory. He even forgets Captain Hook and Tinker Bell. He cannot read or write either, which is significant because literacy is a means of preserving both individual and group memory. In Neverland there is no memory of any kind to speak of. Without memory, there can be no proper sense of morality. That's why telling stories in this regard is also important. The lost boys don't know any stories. Neither does Peter. Stories have logic. They show cause and effect and reveal moral choices. They are a form of remembrance. The figure of the mother, then, is more than just a gendered collection of domestic roles. The mother is a central civilising principle of the family and humankind in general. The tragedy of Peter Pan is that since he has no mother, he is barred from that one joy that springs from the mother load, as it were, family. And ironically, without the mothers, Mrs Darling, Wendy and her daughters, there would be no story of Peter Pan. <laughs>